Okay, so serious question for all of you men out there who are dating right now. And I literally know so many women will stand with me on this one. Why do you ask us to go hiking with you? We literally don't want to go hiking with you. My makeup would fall off. I would smell like skunk. My hair would get frizzy. And I don't want to exercise. Later. Okay, so my awful dating life part two. So me and the dude I was talking to ended things. And when we were discussing ending things, he told me that I deserve so much better. And that he was doing the bare minimum. Like, what? Okay, but to be real, like, I knew this all along, but it was just so nice to date a nice, kind guy who treated me well. And sure, he was doing the bare minimum, but you know what? It wasn't a toxic relationship. And for me, that's all I've ever known is chaotic, toxic relationship. So yeah, I settled. I compromised my values. But guess what I'm not doing in my next relationship? Bottom line, this was a great learning experience, and it tells me what I'm willing to compromise and what I'm not willing to compromise for future relationships. All right, guys, so we got to talk about this TikTok of this liberal woman that is going viral because she has went on the internet to express her dating preferences that really don't make any sense whatsoever. And it really goes to show you how delusional some of these modern liberal women are, right? Because the delusion level of this woman is off the charts, okay? I've been watching some of her TikToks to get a feel for who this woman is. And uh, it seems to me that she's in and out of relationships, okay? As in, she's going out on dates with a lot of guys, right? She's dating guys or whatever. Uh, and for whatever reason, the relationship doesn't work out, okay? But, you know, I personally think that <laughs> she's getting the uh, smash and dash, okay? The uh, two pumps and out, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's probably what's happening to her, okay? Uh, and again, probably the reason why is because... She <laughs> uh the elevator probably doesn't go all the way to the top floor of this woman and the reason why i'm saying this is because she's a good looking woman right she's an attractive woman uh but she says that she wants to find a traditional man who's not conservative or a republican okay as a liberal woman she wants a man that is traditional right but is not conservative or republican which makes absolutely no sense but take a look do you want to know one of the saddest realizations I recently had was that as a liberal woman, it is really hard to find a man who is willing to play the more traditional masculine role in the relationship in today's day and age, who is not a conservative, a man who wants to pay on the first date, who wants to open your door, who has that want and desire to take care of you and to provide, who is not a conservative. And obviously as a liberal woman, I do want to be respected for my independence. And I do want to have my own autonomy in the relationship and not be confined or conform to the traditional female homemaker childbearing role. And most of the men that I've dated who do have that more natural provider masculinity about them are normally conservative. So I don't really know what to do because I don't want to compromise my morals and values just to find a man. But am I asking to have my cake and eat it too? Yeah, so here we have another delusional modern woman, right, who wants her cake and to eat it too, right? She wants a traditional masculine man, but she doesn't want to be a traditional woman, okay? And by the way, I think this woman uh, lives somewhere out in the LA, California area, right? So uh, probably her dating pool is mostly uh, liberal slash progressive men who clearly she's not very attractive to right uh because that's not what she wants right uh it, it kind of reminds me of that study right uh where you know you had a uh, weekly uh, uh, affiliated democratic men uh when they were given a boost of testosterone right they became more conservative started to have more of an affinity for the Republican Party. Now, I believe in that study also showed that Democratic men tend to have lower levels of testosterone and that more conservative men tend to have higher uh, levels of testosterone. You know, when I went and got my testosterone checked, uh, I realized, well, wow, this is why I tend to lean more conservative, okay? Higher testosterone levels, okay? Which is clearly something that, you know, she's probably into, right? She wants a traditional masculine Man, but again, she doesn't really understand that the reason why uh, men are traditional is because they're more conservative. Conservatism means believing in traditional gender and dating roles. For example, uh, believing that, hey, women have a certain role as a woman in a relationship. You know, traditionally speaking, 
uh, women are, you know, the caretakers of the kids. They take care of the house. Okay. They submit and that they're submissive to their husbands. Now in modern day life, uh, you know, women aren't necessarily just confined in that role and you would be hard pressed to even find conservative women that don't work. Okay. That don't have a job because unfortunately in, in this economy, in this society, you need two incomes in order to actually really get by. Okay. Unless you're making some serious, serious sacrifices. So even, you know, conservative men and women who are in relationships, uh, for the most part, <laughs> uh, both have jobs, even if they do believe in traditional gender roles. So it's not even like a conservative man would be requiring her to stay in the house <laughs> and to be a homemaker and to have kids like, you know, women used to do back in the you know, 1930s, 40s, 50s, right? Before the rise of modern day feminism and, you know, the sexual revolution and all these things that have liberated women, okay, to be just like men, which is what liberal men support, right? Liberal men support women like this woman right here uh, doing the things that she wants to do as an independent woman, okay? She doesn't want to be in the kitchen, okay? She doesn't want to be a traditional woman. Liberal men support that. And that's why I think this is so hilarious, okay? <laughs> she doesn't want a liberal man probably because liberal men <laughs> probably are less masculine, okay? They're less traditional. They believe in gender equality, okay? Like, for example, uh, splitting dates 50-50, okay? Men and women are equal, Okay, we have the same roles. We should do everything 50-50, right? Okay, we'll split the bill, right? <laughs> Again, but when it comes time to split the bill, all these women, all of a sudden, they want a traditional man without actually being traditional themselves. It's just funny how that works. Because again, if you want a traditional man who brings in the dough, okay, he brings in the dough, he opens up the door, he pays for the date, then you best believe you gotta be a traditional woman. At the very least, you gotta be willing to submit to him okay i mean this woman probably has issues with that she doesn't even want to submit to going on a hike with her man okay because it makes her sweaty and she doesn't like exercise which is a huge red flag right a woman that doesn't like to exercise and to get in the gym that's a ticking time bomb right there okay because as soon as she has her first kid it's over for her okay she ain't gonna be the same woman that she was before in regards to what she looks like which again i'm just saying people may find it to be controversial but that's a big thing for me, okay? Like, you got to be in the gym. You got to stay fit. I'm just saying, you got to bring some traditional qualities to the table if you want a traditional man, okay? And you got to accept the fact that, hey, conservative men are conservative or traditional for a reason, right? Conservative men believe in all that stuff. They believe in gender roles. We believe that men and women are different, okay? And this is why we're treating you differently, right? This is why, you know, we pay for the first date. This is why we open the door. This is why uh, we try to be chivalrous, or at least me. I, I do that, okay? Because I do believe in that stuff. Um, I'm from the South, so this is just something that comes natural to me. I do all that. And I don't even think it's simping <laughs> if the girl shows that she deserves it, right? If she deserves that, I have no issues with that, okay? But if she don't deserve it, she ain't getting all that, <laughs> right? I'm just saying. But for the most part, I try to hold up the traditional role until she proves that, hey, she's not a traditional woman, then I'm out. With that being said, this woman received a whole lot of backlash on social media for her delusions, okay, when it comes to dating, and for good reason. But she has uh, gone back to social media to announce that she's found her unicorn. She's found her simp, I meant her progressive guy who also has the traditional uh, masculine uh, traits that she is looking for without him being a conservative or Republican. Take a look. So this is for all the trolls that commented on my last video. Listen the fuck up. And to the thousands of you that said that I wouldn't find a progressive man who's also conservative in some way. Well, guess motherfucking what? Your girl went on a date last night with literally a guy who's conservative in some ways, but also very progressive in others. So he's progressive in ways like wanting to police reform, uh, caring about social justice issues, also feeling the need to take care of the home and help his wife cook, clean, take care of the kids. He's pro-life, he's pro-trans, and he supports the LGBTQ community. But he's also conservative in ways that he likes his guns. He wants to provide financially for his girlfriend or wife. Um, he takes that gentleman role seriously, so he's very chivalrous. So basically, he's progressive in all the social issues, yet he's very traditional in wanting to provide and take care of his family and his wife and 
take care of her needs, make sure that she's treated, make sure that she's well taken care of, basically. And that's exactly what I've been looking for. So hope it works out. <laughs> yeah. Until you post the next TikTok, are you talking about why it didn't work out? Right? Why you got the D and dash, okay? Why you got the two pump dump, okay? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, man. Um, <laughs> some of these women are so delusional. Uh, but hey, best of luck to her, okay? It, to me, it sounds like she found a simp that she was looking for. A guy who's going to take care of her financially. He's going to pay for everything while also doing the cooking, the cleaning. You know, he's going to do all this stuff, allow her to be liberated, allow her to, you know, take her little trips to Miami with her friends or whatever, wear whatever she wants, do whatever she wants, you know, have her own income, her own job where she can, you know, buy whatever she wants. She doesn't have to really split the bills or anything like that fine <laughs> right we'll see how long it lasts okay i'm not sure you know how much she's actually going to respect this dude in the long run but this is what she claims she wants my gut feeling is that it's probably not going to work out because i think a self-respected man is not going to sign up to basically bring everything to the table while she brings nothing traditionally as a woman to the table okay again unless they're self right which you know hey uh people get you know kitty cat whipped i mean it is what it is <laughs> that could be what's going on here who knows uh i just think more than anything that she uh basically does not want to date a man that is politically conservative okay or that votes republican because again she believes that maybe the man wants to take away her rights right as a woman when that's not necessarily even true okay and again i think that uh you know a lot of men that tend to lean conservative do believe in those traditional roles but they're not forcing a woman to for example stay home and be a homemaker no matter what especially if they're not bringing in the income to justify that right i think the biggest thing that more conservative leaning men are looking for okay and i only can speak for myself i'm not trying to speak for anybody else is really just submission right just hey uh do you respect my authority as a man okay and in a relationship how you know a man is supposed to lead you know, you're supposed to essentially, again, submit to your man, okay? It's God and then your man, right? And a lot of women just, they have a problem with that, okay? Uh, but it's funny because um, they don't realize that a lot of them, whom, again, are so independent, right? They think they're so independent. They have jobs, but they go to work every single day and they submit to a man, which is their boss, right? And they're more than happy to do that because they're getting a paycheck, but they don't want to submit to... A man in the house or a man that they're in a relationship with but they expect him to pay for all her bills right and to take care of her financially it's just amazing how that works right again a lot of these so-called independent feminist women they will go to work and submit to a male boss for money okay to essentially pay their bills okay but they won't submit to a conservative or republican man when it comes to relationships uh but expects them to pay her bills, right? When all they got to do is just submit to their husband or their man the same way they submit to their boss and their bills will get paid, right? It's just, it's fascinating stuff. It really is. I'm just saying, I think that, again, this is more about politics than anything. But hey, you know, this is her preferences. She can date whoever she wants. I really don't care. I just think that the delusion here is off the charts. And this is, again, a, a prime example of how modern day women think, how they want men to bring everything to the table, right? They want a traditional man without actually being traditional themselves. And I, I, I just think that the delusion here is just is off the charts. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.